do we got here? Uh, we have a combat helmet from Operation Continue Hope. If you've seen Black Hawk Down, I was a soldier there. It still has some sand in it from Somalia, so if you tip it over, just be careful. But Oh, wow, that's really cool. So Yeah, it's from 1993. This is actually an older one. I think they have a new helmets now, the United Nations. I hope, because this looks like it'd get hot in Africa. Oh, it looks like a bullet <laughs> would go through it, too. Yeah. Uh... I was a soldier in Somalia when I was in the Army. While I was there, I had a chance to make friends with some Swedish soldiers, and I traded some Army gear for the helmet and kept it ever since. And 400 is about the lowest I'd go. This is interesting. Tell me everything you can about it. I was an M60 gunner for my company, and I had a chance to go on convoys every day. The main objective was to feed these people and provide communications for the soldiers that were there. And as you know, it yeah. didn't quite turn out like that. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty damn intense. Um, it was the bloodiest American battle since Vietnam. I know that it was the Battle of Mogadishu, which was actually the Black Hawk Down. With the right, that was actually on. Operation Continue Hope. Okay. The U.S. troops, I mean, they're U.N. troops too, right? But they don't wear the U.N. helmet? Right, uh, everyone but the U.S. pretty much wore those. So what are you looking to get out of it? I'm looking to get $400 for it. I have to tell you, man, I mean, there's there's pristine World War II helmets that I can't get 400 bucks out of. Really? Yeah. It's cool, it's different, it's unique, it's something people are gonna talk about. But when they make this stuff, they make tons of it. So not even that it's combat use, that wouldn't add a little bit more value to it? Almost anybody that brings me a blue UN helmet in here is gonna tell me it was combat used. Right. Let's put it this way. I'm not getting carbon data from the sand in here and saying it was combat used. I you know, it's... I I'd offer you like 50 bucks for it, man. 50 bucks. I think I'm just gonna hold on to it. Um, I appreciate you taking a look at it. No problem, my man. Yeah, I no worries. It, man. Take care. Take care, thanks. I think it has a lot more sentimental value to me and my family, and it's been a great conversation piece through the years, so I'm just going to keep it.